In the Episcopal Church, and indeed here at St. Michael's, we offer another sacrament, which is uh, the sacrament of confession and absolution. In the Episcopal Church, we teach that all may say confession, none must say confession, and some should say confession. <laughs> By which we mean that the participating in the sacrament of confession is not necessary for the participation in the other sacraments or the receiving of communion, uh, that one's forgiveness is granted by God and God alone through the grace of Jesus Christ and the power of the resurrection. Nevertheless, we are human beings and we all fall short sometimes. We all do things that we regret. We do things that are indeed wrong. We also, sadly, many of us have gone through very hard times in our lives where we may have been harmed by somebody or heard a message wherein we were told that we were not worthy of God's love or that we were somehow separate from God's love. This pain in both directions, both the pain that we cause and the pain that we've received, sometimes can sit within us and it can fester within us. And so this is the primary purpose of the sacrament of confession, to sit down with another person, with a priest, and to have her or him hear your confession, to hear that which is upon your chest and upon your shoulders weighing you down and through the grace of Christ, assure you that you are indeed loved and forgiven. In our church, uh, we take confession seriously, and we mean that we truly offer that absolution, but we also look to making amends and to making some kind of restitution in any way that we can. So the priest will help you with that too, sitting down and talking about the things that you've done and the effects that your actions have had and how you might go about making that right with the people that may have been harmed by what you've done. Or indeed, if you have been harmed, how you might go back and begin that conversation with the person who has done you wrong. Because this is the way in which Christ indeed redeems the world and frees us from sin. Not just through saying prayers together, not just through receiving a priest's absolution, but by empowering us to be people of reconciliation, one with another such that we might not just feel God's love, but we might live God's love and God's justice in the broken world in which we live. That is the power of the sacrament of confession and of absolution. And if you feel the need of it, please know that we would be willing to hear your confession any day. This sacrament is of course available to all baptized Christians, and it's also available to anybody of any faith from any walk of life. If you need someone to sit down and hear your confession, and if you are willing to then share with them what has happened and know that there will be a continued conversation about what you have gone through, please come forward and say your confession, being assured at the same time of the privilege of the sacramental seal, that what you share will indeed remain between you and the priest as you go forth in your life of faith.